Second Kings chapter six. Eight from verse eight. Second Kings chapter six from verse eight. Thank you, media. They're already there. Then the king of Syria warred against Israel. That is, he declared war. And took counsel with his servants, saying, In such and such a place shall be my camp. And the man of God sent unto the king of Israel, this is Elisha, saying, Beware that thou pass not such a place. For theater, the Syrians are come down. Elisha was telling the king of Israel that the enemies who have declared war, they will pass through Oyimbo. Don't pass through Oyimbo. Are you, are you getting the story? Continue. And the king of Israel sent to the place which the man of God told him and warned him of and saved himself there, not once, nor twice. Praise the Lord. He said, the king of Israel, listening to the Elisha, the prophet, he tried to avoid that place. He said, God saved him, therefore, not once, not twice. Not even three times. He said three times, Abby. Not once, not twice. Praise the Lord. So more than two times. Verse 11. Therefore, the heart of the king of Syria was so troubled for this thing. In other words, the king of Syria, we see his army. Say, the man normally passes through Yimbo on his way to Yaba. So, he will send soldiers to see if he can kill the king. But the man will pass through Surulere. Go around through, through uh, uh, what is the name of that place? Eh? Surulere. He will pass through Ujolegba and still arrive at Yaba. And avoid going through, going straight. And then, so, so the king of Syria was angry, was troubled. Why can't I get this man? This is the road he normally follows to go to work. He said, and he called his servants and said unto them, Will you not show me which of us is for the king of Israel? He called his people inside the palace. He said, one of you is a saboteur. One of you is a spy. You, you are the one of you is going to tell my enemy that don't pass through this Oyimbo road, that this is the road. And the people answered him. Therefore, they, they are, and one of his servants said, None, my lord, O king, but Elisha, the prophet that is in Israel, tell the king of Israel the words that thou speakest in thy bed chamber. Is there nobody here is an enemy? You? The, the real enemy you have is a prophet in Israel. Even what you discuss inside their bedroom, that's bedchamber, the man hears it. He's not here, oh, but he hears what you discuss inside their bedroom. Immediately the king has it. What did the king say? And he said, That's the king. Go and spy where he is. He stopped pursuing the king. He started pursuing the man who is giving information to the king. He changed his enemy. Hello? He said, in that case, for me to get the king, I need to get the man who is telling him all my plans. So he said, go and spy where he is, that I may send and fetch him. And it was told him, saying, behold, he is in daughter. They told him the town where Elisha is. He said, okay. Continue. The next verse. Therefore, send he thither horses and chariots and a great host. He sent a big military command, you know, a platoon. And they came by when? By night. He said, don't go in the afternoon. He may see you and run. We are going to catch him when? In the night. See, when I tell you that when the enemy wants to attack, they are always ready. It is us that are not as ready sometimes. The enemy doesn't go in a small way. He sent a big military battalion, soldiers, with horses. Today's equivalent of armor tanks. Okay? And he sent them to go in the night. The best time to catch the man. 
Hello, somebody. And they compassed the city. Go back again. They compassed. Go back again. Verse 14. And they compassed the city about. So the soldiers surrounded this place. They sent soldiers, a big platoon, to go and arrest only one man. A man who can afford to hear in his house, in another country, what I'm saying in my room. It's not an ordinary man, no. This is not the man you go, just go and send two people with catapult. Send big soldiers, plenty, and surround the town. And make sure you go in the night. Let's see how he will escape. The enemy does not do small plan. But no matter the plan of the enemy, God's plan is always the best. And God's plan will work for you. Amen. And when the servant of the man of God was risen, the servant of Elisha, early, he woke up in the morning. Maybe he went to Wee Wee and gone forth. Behold, and host compassed the city about with horses and chariots. El, uh, Gehazi, the servant of Elisha, woke up early in the morning, maybe to go and pee, and he saw that soldiers have surrounded them. And he began to panic. And the Bible said, and his servant said unto, he went to see his guy, Elisha. He said, alas, my master, how shall we do? In other words, trouble has come. What are we going to do? We are in our house and trouble came to meet us. Every one of you that trouble has come to meet that trouble will go back where it came from. You, you see, this man was afraid. But hear what the prophet Elisha said. As I'm talking, talking to you today, the prophet said, and he answered, fear not. I want to speak to each and every one of you. Do not be afraid. You didn't hear me. Fear not. Yeah. That thing you are afraid of, that trouble, it will not destroy you. Yeah. That sickness will not kill you. Yeah. The enemy arrow will not destroy you. Yeah. The curse of the wicked will not harm you. Yeah. I say so in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You believe that? Shout hallelujah. Fear not, because, and I will tell you why you should not be afraid. And he answered, fear not, for, why? He said, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. That's why he said, don't be afraid. You are seeing trouble surrounding you. But, the people who are backing us, the powers backing us are bigger in number. Do you know that God is bigger than all your enemies? Do you know that even if the whole world is against you and God is with you, you will never be defeated? You don't believe that, do you? The God I'm talking about, I know this God. I have seen him do impossible things. Your case will not be different. The case of your children will not be different. The case of your husband will not be different. The case of your parents will not be different. Whatever is happening in your office, your case is small compared to what God will do. God will change your, the story in your office in Jesus' name. Wherever the enemies have risen, wherever the Goliaths have come from, God will make you David. You did not hear me. Money, God will make you a David. And you will defeat your Goliaths. 
In the name of Jesus. Amen. Brethren, verse 17 says, the next verse, and the Elisha went on after saying that those who are with us are bigger in number. He said, Elisha went into prayer. That's why we are going to pray today. When you have enemies, you need to pray. Is somebody hearing me? For our weapon of warfare is not Kana, but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Somebody shout hallelujah. hallelujah. I say somebody shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Our weapon of warfare is not Kana. They are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Do not be afraid. Praise the Lord. I don't know why I keep on saying it. Somebody is still afraid. I'm telling you, do not be afraid. You will not be defeated in Jesus' name. None of us will be defeated in Jesus' name. You are going, we, we will hear your own testimony. And you have been hearing people's testimony. We will hear your own. In this church, in Jesus' name. If you believe that, shout a big hallelujah. Elisha prayed. As big as the man of God is, he prayed. We will pray. The God that answered Elisha, he will answer us. You did not hear me very well. Moni, the God that answered Elisha, he will answer you today. He has not trapped. He's the same God. He will answer again in Jesus' name. And he said, Lord, and said, his prayer was, Lord, I pray thee. Open his eyes that he may see. He prayed that since this man, he perceived that his servant was afraid. And he has told him, the people that are with us are bigger. But he can still see that the boy is still afraid. He said, okay, oh God, open his eyes. That he may see. And the Bible said, God answered the prayer immediately. And the Lord opened. Somebody's prayer will be answered immediately today. Even before you pray, God will answer. When you are still praying, the testimony will come. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man. And he saw. And behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire. Round about Elisha. He saw the armored tanks. The intercontinental ballistic missiles of God surrounding them. He said, wow. So my God was not lying. Continue to verse 18. We will end there. Verse 18. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, smite these people. He prayed another prayer. He said, smite them. Hit them. Your enemies will be smitten today. He said, I pray thee with blindness. Hello? And God answered immediately. Once more, I declare to you, the prayers I believe we shall pray today, God will answer immediately. And God smote with, and he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. Your prayers will be answered. You've gotten the story. There was only one champion, a divine champion in this story. What was the name of that divine champion? Elisha. He faced a battle. On his own, he could have lost that battle. But God was with him. And he became a divine champion. God will make you a divine champion. No matter the number of enemies that have surrounded you, no matter the number of problems, office problem, financial problem, sickness problem, problems with in-laws, all of them coming at the same time, God will give you victory. Amen. You will overcome all of them. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Because God will fight for you. Amen. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
The God that made Elisha a divine champion, that God will soon arise for you. Amen. Today, this evening, and we will fight for you. Amen. And you will be a champion Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. If you read that story further, it says, as these soldiers became blind, Elisha carried them on the hand and said, who are you looking for? He said, we are asked to go and arrest Elisha. He said, come, let me go and show you where he is. Read the story. He carried them. He says, follow me. You know, they were not zombies. They were blind. He took them, carried them. And then they were doing Babi and La, Babi and La. So he carried them, all of them. Went to this capital, Samaria, where the king of Israel. I hope you know the original person the king of Syria was looking for was the king of Israel. He carried them to that king. And the king said, Ah, man of God, well done. We will kill all of them now. Then the Bible says the prophet said, How can you kill somebody you have already taken captive? Prepare Eba, Amala. Round about. Orish Rishi. Prepare good food for them. Let them do what? Let them. Is there? Oh, I'm bad. Look at it now. Say, set bread and water. Say, before them that they may eat and drink. Hello? Hi. They prepare food for them. They eat. When they finish eating, he said, you know, they now, they now carry them. Their eyes were opened. When they got to Samaria, their eyes were opened. Then they ate. They could see their food. And then after that, JJ Lee, they all sent them back to go back to where they came from. All your enemies, they will go back to where they came from. They will return where they came from. Every enemy harassing your family, they will go back to where they came from. Why? Because God will send them back. In the name of Jesus. Look at the last part of that story. The Bible says, the last line that says, So the bands of Syria came no more into the land of Israel. Just because of this thing. You can imagine, what will they tell the king when they get back? They will say, Baba, hey, we can't tell what happened. We just found ourselves blind. They carried us to the king. As Babi and La. They gave us food. After we finished eating, we just said, thank God though, that we are still alive. So they returned back. The Bible didn't say what the king did to them when they returned back. But I'm sure, but the Bible said, I'm sure the king was so afraid because that's why the Bible said, the soldiers from Syria came no more into the land of Israel because of that thing. You are, after today, your enemies will not return. Your enemies will not return. Amen. Are you ready to pray? Amen. Stand up. Let's pray. We are going to pray. First prayer point, thank God that you are alive. Thank God you are here. Father, we thank you. We thank you. We are grateful. Thank you that we are here, that we can pray. Thank you that we are in the house of God. Thank you that we are gathered to be able to become champions. Glory be to your holy name. Thank you, my father. Ask God to have mercy upon you. Ask God to forgive you your sins. Ask God to show you mercy. Ask God to forgive you. Plead the blood of Jesus upon yourself. Ask God to forgive you all your sins. Plead the blood of Jesus. Confess your sins. Say, God, have mercy upon me. Just show me mercy. Have mercy upon me. Forgive my family. Forgive my wife. Forgive, forgive my children. Forgive my husband. Forgive my parents. Every sin in my family, please forgive. Lord, show mercy. Forgive me, O oh Lord. Show me mercy. Cleanse me of every unrighteousness. I plead for mercy. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. May God have mercy upon all of us. May his blood wipe away our sins. In Jesus' name, we pray. So prayer number one is on the screen. Say, Father, Father 
you know, one weapon Elisha used was that God was showing him in Israel what was happening where? In Syria. So we're going to pray. Say, Father, Father reveal, to me reveal to me the plans of my enemies, of my enemies. And, frustrate and frustrate them. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, reveal to me all the plans of my enemies. Reveal it, O Lord, and frustrate them. Every plan of my enemy, reveal it to me and frustrate them. Reveal the plans of my enemies and frustrate them. Every plan of the enemy against me, expose them. Expose them and frustrate them. Expose them and frustrate them. Reveal them and frustrate them. Every plan of the enemy against me, expose them, O oh Lord, and frustrate them. Expose them and frustrate them. All the plans of the enemy, Father, expose them and frustrate them. Reveal them and frustrate them. Expose them and frustrate them. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. You don't need to worry to write the prayer points. I already have the prayer points typed out here. After the prayer, I will give to all of you to go home with it. Praise the Lord. Because I still want you to pray it in the night before you go to bed. So prayer number two. Say, Father. Father. You know, Elisha was used to bless the king of Israel. To save his life. And you are Elisha of today. God will use you to save people's lives. Yeah. To save the lives of your children. Yeah. To save the lives of your parents. Yeah. And all your brothers and sisters. Yeah. Say, Father, Father use, me to bless use me to bless. And to save, and to save the, lives the lives of others. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, use me, O oh Lord, to bless and to save the lives of my brothers, the lives of my sisters, the lives of my children, the lives of my husband. Use me, O oh God. Use me, O oh God, to bless and to save the lives of my relatives, my brothers, my sisters, my children, my parents. Father, use me, O oh Lord. Use me, O oh Lord, to save the lives of my brothers. My sisters, my nephews, my nieces. Use me to save the lives of Nigerians. Use me to save the, the lives of people of this country. Use me to save the lives and be a blessing to Africa. Use me, O oh Lord. My Father, use me. Father, use me. Jehovah, use me. Father, use me. I'm available. Use me to save the lives of... Countless hundreds of thousands, millions, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Use me, O oh God. Use me, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number three. Say, Father, Father open, my eyes. open my eyes. I hope you know that Elisha already saw that those who are backing him were plenty. That's why he said, this boy, you are not seeing what I'm seeing. Okay, Father, open uh, his eyes. When you see who is backing you up, you will be more confident. Hello, somebody. Many years ago, you know, my, my uh, younger sister, who will not allow me to pray for her, because she's not brother, it's ordinary brother now, until one day, God showed her a vision. Where he saw me climbing to an altar and he saw soldiers carrying big guns following me around. He said, Is it not brother? Is it not brother? That week she came to me and said, Pray for me. Because until people see, sometimes they don't believe. But blessed is he who has not seen, but yet what? Believe it. We'll pray that prayer number three right now. Prayer number three. Prayer number three. Father, Father open, my open my eyes to see the powers, see the powers backing, me up. backing me up. 
and increase my faith in you. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, open my eyes. Open my eyes to see the powers that are backing me up. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, to see the powers that are backing me up. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, to see the powers that are backing me up. Father, open my eyes. Let me see, O oh God, that I'm not alone. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, to see the powers that are backing me up. Open my eyes, O oh Lord, to see the powers that are backing me up. Father, open my eyes, O oh Lord. Please open my eyes to see the powers that are backing me up. And increase my faith in you. Increase my faith in you. Father, increase my faith in you. 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 Father, increase my faith in you. Increase my faith in you. Increase my faith in you. In Jesus' mighty name we are prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer number four. As you already know, as we share with you, the eye, God, the eyes of the enemies that came to arrest Elisha, they were shot. God made them to go blind. That's why they could not function. They had weapons. How can a soldier shoot without seeing where he's shooting? They must have dropped their guns and say, ah, the thing don't fail. They'll be begging, just take us home. God knows the weakest point of your enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, God will break the backbone of your enemies. Yeah. Where, whatever God needs to do in order to make your enemies not to function, my God, we do it today in Jesus' name. Amen. So I want you to pray and say, Father, Father blindfold, my blindfold my enemies. Do not let them see me again. Let them see me. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, blindfold my enemies. Blindfold my enemies. Do not let them see me again. Do not let them see my children again. Do not let them see my wife again. Father, blindfold my enemies. Father, blindfold them. Blindfold my enemies. Do not let them see me again. Father, blindfold my enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, blindfold my enemies. Please blindfold them. Blindfold them. Do not let them see me again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, blindfold my enemies. Do not let them see me again. Do not let them see me again. Father, do not let them see me again. Father, blindfold my enemies. Do not let them see me again. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number five. Say, I told you Elisha prayed. And God answered instantly. Say, Father, Father, every prayer I will pray today, answer them today. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every prayer, every prayer I will, I'm praying today, every prayer that I'm praying today, answer them today. Answer them today. Answer them today. Answer them today. The prayers I have prayed in the past, answer them today. The prayers I'm praying today, answer them today. Father, answer them. Please answer them. My Father, answer them. Father, answer them. My Father, answer them. Father, answer them. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, answer them. Answer them, O oh God. Answer them, O oh God. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. May God answer you today. In Jesus' name. Prayer number six. The people that were sent to come and arrest Elijah. They couldn't function. Even though they came with horses, with weapons of war, they were incapacitated because they went blind. 
I want you to pray. And say, Father, Father all, those sent to me, all those sent to destroy me, incapacitate them. Incapacitate them. Don't let them be able to function. Pray in the name of Jesus. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every problem, every enemy sent to arrest me, sent to destroy me. Father, incapacitate them. Don't let them be able to function. Do not let them be able to function. Do not let them be able to function. Lord, incapacitate them. Incapacitate them. All those sent to arrest me. All those sent to destroy my wife. Every sickness, every disease sent to destroy my wife. Father, incapacitate that sickness. Incapacitate that disease. Every problem, every disease, every problem, every crisis sent to destroy me. Father, incapacitate them. Do not let them function. Do not let them work. Lord, don't let them function. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer number seven. I hope you know they surrounded Elisha, hoping to get him. When you surround your enemy, where is it running to? But they surrounded the enemy when they, were, when they could see. When it was time for war, they went blind. So they are surrounding the enemy. Surrounding Elisha became useless. Praise the Lord, somebody. The enemy came seen. But when it was time for war, the enemy went blind. They surrounded, but they couldn't function. Praise the Lord. Say, Father, Father every, enemy every enemy that has surrounded me, that has surrounded, surrounded my family, render them useless forever. Pray in the name of Jesus. Every enemy that has surrounded my family, Render them useless. Make them useless. Make them useless. Forever, 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 forever. Every enemy that has surrounded my family, make them useless forever. 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 Every enemy that has surrounded my family, make them useless forever. 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 Every enemy, every problem, every demon, every wish, every wizard, every financial problem, every sickness, every disease, Every mommy water spirit that has surrounded my family, make them useless forever. Render them useless forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number eight. What the enemy did is that they laid an ambush waiting for Elisha to come out so that they will grab him. But the amb ambush failed. I wanted to pray and say, Father, Father all, my all my enemies that have laid ambush for against me, ambush against me. deal with them. Amen. Pray in the name of Jesus. All my enemies that have laid the trap, that have laid ambush, waiting for me to come out so that they will catch me. Father, Deal with them all. You know what to do. Father, deal with them. Paralyze them all. Deal with them. Every enemy that has laid an ambush against me, Father, deal with them. 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 Father, deal with them. My Father, deal with them. Father, deal with them. Father, deal with them. Father, deal with them. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number nine. The enemies that came to arrest Elisha were very strong. They were soldiers. Battalion. Yet, one Elisha walking with God 
defeated them. A divine champion was made on that day. I want you to pray and say, Father, Father although my enemies are many, and strong, and strong. Render, their render their weapons ineffective. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, although my enemies are many and strong, render their weapons useless. Render their weapons useless. Although my enemies are many and strong, render their weapons useless. Render their weapons useless. Render their weapons useless. Father, render their weapons useless. Let their weapons become useless. Let their weapons become useless. Let their weapons become useless. My Father, let their weapons become useless. Their weapons of warfare, render it useless, ineffective. In the mighty name of Jesus, let their weapons become useless. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number 10. The enemies were sent back to the man who brought them. I hope you know. They returned back. They didn't achieve their purpose. Enemies sent to you, they will not achieve the purpose for which they were sent. And they will soon return back. This night, they are going back. I want you to pray and say, Father, send my enemies back to the ascender. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, send my enemies. Send them back to the ascender. Send my enemies back to the ascender. Send my enemies back to the ascender. All my enemies. Father, send them back to the ascender. Send them back to the ascender. All my enemies. Father, send them back to the ascender. Send them back to the ascender. All my enemies. Father, send them back to the ascender. Send them back to the ascender. Father, all my enemies. Send them back to the ascender. Send them back to the ascender. Father, send them back to the ascender. In the name of Jesus. Father, all my enemies. Send them back to the ascender. Send them back to the ascender. In Jesus' mighty name, we are praying. So shall it be in Jesus' name. Prayer number 11. We already read it. That from that day when they returned back, the Syrians did not return back to Israel again. Your enemies will not return. As they leave you tonight, they won't come back. So I want you to pray and say, Father, deal with my enemies. And let them never return to fight me. Do not let them return again. Pray in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Father, as you deal with my enemies, never let them return. Never let them return. Father, as you deal with my enemies, never let them return. Never let them return. Father, as you deal with my enemies, never let them return. Do not let them return to me. Do not let them return. In the mighty name of Jesus, as you deal with them, Father, do not let them return. Don't let them return to fight me. Don't let them return again to my family. Deal with the enemies of my family. And do not let them return to me. As you expel them, as you expel them, don't let them return to my family. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Prayer number 12. Elisha became a divine champion. I already told you. When you defeat powers that are stronger than you, just because God is with you, you are a divine champion. You have won the battle because God is with you. Praise the Lord. I know that God is with us. I know that God are in this meeting. I know God that declared this month a month of divine champion. He will make you a champion. The God that made Elisha a champion will make you a champion. So I want you to pray and say, Father, as you did for Elisha, 
Make me a divine champion. Pray in the name of Jesus. Father, as you did for Elisha, make me a divine champion. Father, as you did for Elisha, make me a divine champion. As you did for that great man of God, Elisha, make me a divine champion. Make me a divine champion. Father, make me a divine champion. My father, make me a divine champion. Father, make me a divine champion. Please, my father, make me a divine champion. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, make me a divine champion. Make me a divine champion. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, make me a divine champion. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And so shall it be in Jesus' name. The last prayer point is your own prayer. Anything you want God to do for you, you can kneel down, you can stand up, anyhow, you can lie down, just cry out to God. God is going to hear you. Anything you want God to do for you, talk to God. That's the last prayer point as we close. God will answer. Talk to God. It's between you and God. I know God will answer. This is the meeting he arranged by himself. He will answer. Do not hide your problems from God. Don't tell pastor, but tell God. Elisha talked to God over his own problem, and God answered. Tell him. He's hearing you. Talk to him. He will answer you. He's merciful. He arranged this meeting to send us help. You will be a champion for God. Don't try to be quoting the words with sweetness. Tell God exactly where he's paining you. Tell him exactly what the problem is. And tell him that you have no other person to help you except him. Ask him to please help. The word of God said, is there no more balm in Gilead? Oh, I said balm in Gilead. God, the healer, is with us. The deliverer is with us. The savior is with us. The one who makes a way where there's no way is with us. The one who gives abundant life is with us. The beginning and the ending is with us. The Alpha and the Omega is with us. The Prince of Peace is with us. The Counselor is with us. Everlasting Father is with us. The Almighty God is with us. The Helper of the Helpless is with us. The Father of the Orphan is with us. The Husband of the Widow is with us. Is the Prince of Peace. Nothing is impossible with him. He can raise the dead. He has done it over and over again. He can recreate organs. He can open doors that are shut without a key. Because he is the key. He is also the door. He is the master key. He is also the door. Cry out to him. Say, Father, help me. Anywhere you want God to help you, talk to him. My father will help you. He called this meeting to send help. He said, I have not called my people to worship me in vain. You're not going to worship God in vain. He's here to help. Begin to round up your prayers now, even as we conclude. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Just stay where you are. Keep maintain your position. Father, you are in this meeting. And you have already said to me that you will answer every prayer. 
Lord, I am praying. Every prayer we have prayed to you. Thank you, Lord. You just reconfirmed it again. He said, I have told you how we answer. My Father, every prayer we have prayed tonight, answer all of them in Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, you answered Elisha instantly. He said, the eyes of the enemy be closed, and you did it immediately. Father, every prayer we have prayed tonight, answer them instantly in Jesus' name. Amen. Father, if you did not help Elisha on that day, the enemies would have finished him. Lord, we have nobody. If you do not help us, if you do not send us help, my father, Jehovah El Shaddai, my God, you are the last bus stop. We have no place to go to. We have no commodity to help us. We have no doctor to help us. We have no lawyer to help us. We have no billionaire to help us. We have nobody, nobody to help us. If you do not help us, then we finish us. Father, send us help in Jesus' name. My father, if you have called me to be one of your pastors, Every prayer of tonight, answer them all in Jesus' name. Amen. Please wipe away tears. Amen. We have cried for a long time. We have no other person to help us. This night, oh God, please send us help in Jesus' name. Amen. Send help to our husbands. Send help to our wives. Amen. Send help to our children. Amen. Send help to our grandchildren. Send help to our places of work. Send help to our physical bodies. Every one of us that is sick, heal all of us in Jesus' name. Every one of us that has a relative who is sick, heal that person in Jesus' name. Father, David said in Psalm 124, If you had not come to help Israel, the enemies would have swallowed us up. Daddy, remember. Remember you are, we are your children. Remember we have no other hope except you. If you do not help us, what shall Israel say? What shall your people say? The enemies are too strong. They have surrounded us. They will destroy us. Father, do not let them destroy us in Jesus' name. As you cause the enemies who surrendered Elisha to go blind, all those who have come to destroy us, every sickness, every disease, every poverty, every failure, every error of the wicked, Father, incapacitate them in Jesus' name. Deliver us from those who are too strong for us. We know that if you are with us, your word says, in Romans 8, 31, what shall we say then? If God be for us, who can be against us? Yeah, what says in Romans 8, 37? Yeah, you, we, we are more than conquerors through Christ that is helping us, that is with us. Lord, you are the one who will help us. Make us more than conquerors in Jesus' name. Amen. Yeah, what says in 1 John chapter 4, verse 4? He who is in us is greater that he who is in the world. Lord, we know that you are with us. You are inside us. The powers that are in the world, the powers of Mami water, the powers of witches and wizards, the occultic powers, all the sickness and disease, every problem affecting our families and our children, they are bigger than us, but you are bigger than all of them. Father, deal with them all in Jesus' name. Deal with them all in Jesus' name. Amen. Deliver us in Jesus' name. Amen. Your word said in Psalm 107 verse 20, you sent your word. Your word healed us and delivered us from destruction. I am sending your word of healing upon everyone here. 
and everyone connected to anyone here who is sick. Father, by your stress, we were healed. Let the stress of Jesus begin to heal all of us and our family members in the name of Jesus. Deliver us from destruction. And let our freedom begin. Let our liberty begin. Make all of us divine champions. Glory be to your name. More than what we have asked, please answer. For we pray with thanksgiving in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. Yeah.